What if I told you that there was something coming down in the snow that could seriously injure your children, your pets, or yourself? What if I told you it was called black liquor and is the byproduct of paper mills in Maine? Now guys, right now, it has been snowing brown in Maine. Of course, they've gone out and tested the snow. It's not acid, it's alkaline because it first tested a 10. Folks, stop what you're doing and listen to me very carefully. These pictures are gonna be very disturbing, but I need you to hear me because this warning was in the local newspaper. Do not let your pets or your children touch it, walk on it, eat it, ingest it in any way. Why? Why? Because an alkaline burn is actually worse than acid. So we all remember when we were in science class and we had to do the pH balancing, anything from like a one to a five is considered an acid. Well, up to seven, which is actually neutral. Anything above 7.1 up to 12 is considered alkaline. You and I have been programmed to consider acid the worst thing that can happen to you. But folks, it is truly alkaline that is the most dangerous. Why? Well, the first thing is you don't always feel pain. Sometimes it takes a few days, but this is what happens with alkaline burns on dogs. Look at his, look at his tongue. That's an alkaline battery, okay? Look at the back of this German Shepherd. That is alkaline. So go back to Maine. They tested the snow. At first, it was like a 10. Folks, that is critical. Why your town didn't tell you that? Why they didn't shut it all down? I will never know. But the EPA came back and said, oh, it's not that bad. And when the rain comes later this week, it's going to wash it away. Nothing to worry about. But if you ingest breathe or get on your skin anything that high on the alkaline pH test, this is what could happen. Many people heard about this. So an official Facebook update by the town of Rumford announced the characteristics of the brown snow and what had led to the occurrence. They are saying it was confirmed that a malfunction at the paper mill led to the release of spent black liquor, causing the precipitation to turn brown. The black liquor is an alkali byproduct of the paper production process, according to a report by the U.S. Energy Information Administration. So basically what they're saying is that this old paper producing plant is the reason that this brown snow took place and it was a chemical release of some sort now my only question is why hasn't this happened in the past with this exact paper mill so here's a tweet put out about the situation you could see a brown tinge to the snow at the rumford ball fields again the town says what was released from the mill is non-toxic but it can irritate skin people and pets are being told not to touch the snow or eat it but yet it's not toxic so don't worry this entire thing makes no sense whatsoever now in the end they concluded that the ph level did in fact rise because of this chemical that came from the paper mill but of course they're saying in the end there's nothing to worry about don't freak out about it and in talking to some of my subscribers that live in this area this is not even close to the first time this has taken place so think about that for a second when people finally notice this going on they do a little article on it and they cover it and they basically say there's no issue whatsoever now think about how many places like this exist all over the country how often chemicals are getting mixed in our atmosphere and then being and then being transferred into rain or snow and then just sitting on our ground I feel like they only talk about this stuff when there is a big rise up in a specific town and I feel like that should be happening a lot more the more people expose this stuff in groups the more they're gonna have to acknowledge it and eventually we're gonna find out now, the if truth you your children or your pets were exposed to that snow or after it rained and it ran down and you maybe got into the runoff or just walking on your soil afterwards folks it could take up to two to four hours for like an inflammation to start. Maybe it's just red. Maybe the skin's just inflamed. Maybe your eyes are burning a little bit, your nose. It could take up to six to eight hours before real damage begins. The real problem is in identifying the chemicals that the paper mills were using because I found these two. 
Both of them can be extremely serious. But the issue is, is they can't really treat you unless they know what chemicals, not to mention the toxicity to your soil, the toxicity to the fish and crustaceans that is around Maine. I mean, everybody wants a Maine lobster, right? It's been 10 days since that brown snow came down in Rumford, Maine, December 10th, 2024. My question for anybody in Maine is, do your eyes look like this? Are your, pet, your pets having trouble? Really, guys, this is so serious. And this is what is happening across our country with the chemicals. Now, you would think we have the EPA and what is their job to protect us, yet they allow companies and corporations to get away with making basically our environment so toxic that it snows alkaline. Love you guys. Be blessed. Like, comment, subscribe, share this video with people that live in Maine and warn them you really need to know which chemical it was, folks.